finished him, mate. <laughs> finished him. <laughs> he ended up screaming at this old woman. <laughs> Nevertheless, no. No? No. What, not even the men of your skill and sophistication, Mr. Crackett? Yeah, of course I could do it. Well, there's probably no one else could. But tell me this, Fagin. A man like you and what you do, what you are, you know the answer. What would you rather have? Pictures and books. Or the chance of silver and gold. You see, I don't think there's anything there, Pentonville. But a little bird. Fat, ugly maid, actually. Tells me there's treasures elsewhere. But where? Fancy a day in the country, Fagin. A little lattice window, about five off the ground. Shutters on the outside. See it, Fagin? Yeah, and a lot more, yeah. I've seen the roof twice. Well, it's just a fine roof. Yeah, well, that window's so small, they probably didn't think it was worth defending it. But your guess was good, Fagin. The wrong house, but a good guess. Perfect for a little boy. Mrs. Leaford. Not yet. Sign in the usual place, I take it. Year in, year out. Get insulted. We see the pittance go away for yet another year. Good. Always prefer it when you're brusque and to the point. Have you found the child yet? Found the mother yet? Have you looked? you haven't. And uh, would you sign there on behalf of your son, if you'd be so kind? You have his written authority with you, don't you? Thank you. And well, is he well? Still alive, I take him. Mrs. Leaford, thankfully, you have the advantage. Same time next year, God willing? Oh, no. No. Not next year. I want to be there when the boy is produced, when the boy is ruined, when the money is mine. Ours. You have the money, you have the boy. Now, find the locket and then destroy the boy. If I were 20 years younger, I would. You did, Mother. You did. Did you miss me, my dear, when I was away? Hmm. Come here. Come here. I've got something for you. Yeah. Something to take the fear. Out of the night. Good night, Oliver. 
Good night. Business, Bill? For business, so. Say what you got to say about the robbery. <laughs> Bill, Bill, please, please. <laughs> Someone might hear us. Who can hear us? No one can hear us. Yes. Nance can hear us. Well, she ain't wanting to blab, are you, Nancy? I should think not. No, no, I know you're not, my dear. I, I know that, Bill, but. Um... <clears throat> but. Well, you know, I thought she might be out the salts, Bill. You know, as she washed the other night when you had to hit her, Bill. I ain't want to blab, Fagin. For all the years you've known me. Get back to the house. Get back to this house in Jersey. Come on, Fagin. Whole place is sealed up like a jail, Bill. Except there's one part you and Toby can crack safe and soft, but, uh, and late at night. But, oof, Bill, it's as small as the windows. That, that small? Mm. What, an hour? Yeah. Would you be wanting any other hands except yours and Toby's? None, except for a boy. Yeah? Your boy. Yeah, I want a boy, but uh, he can't be a big one. Now then, Fagin, here's your chance. Why don't you tell Bill who you've got lined up? Why don't you tell Bill about Oliver? <laughs> yeah, clever girl, that. <laughs> She's clever, Bill, clever. <laughs> Sharpest girl I ever saw. <laughs> uh, it was about Oliver. I was going to speak, sure enough, Bill. Hey. He's the boy for you, Bill. <laughs> what, him? <laughs> it's him, isn't it? Depend upon it, Bill. He's a safe one. Hey, he, his face will be our fortune. Your fortune? Hey, I've had him in good training. Besides, the others are too big. Well, he is just the size I need. Yeah, I mean, he'll do everything you want, Bill. Everything. That is, you know, if you frighten him enough. Frighten him? If there's anything wrong about him when we get to work, you won't see the boy alive again. Is that what happens, Bill? Hmm? You do that, Bill. After all, he's only a boy. So when is it to be done? Breeches, those dark cotton stockings. Gone. All, all gone. 